When sitting inside of a Tesla, there are a couple of things you're probably going to immediately notice. The large, giant 15-inch touchscreen, the steering wheel, uh, the lack of any kind of physical knobs or control buttons, uh, all the, the glass, the large panoramic sunroof, and the windshield. Lots of things to check out. But what you probably won't notice is this right here, the small, almost hidden interior camera. Yes, that is a camera looking at the cabin inside of the Tesla. And yes, it does work. And a lot of people have been wondering what this camera is, what it's there for, what it's capable of, and is Tesla always watching you right now when you're inside of your car? Uh, I've got a lot of questions here. I've also got a lot of answers. Let's take a deep dive into exactly what this interior camera is for and answer the question, is Tesla always watching you? Because you might just be surprised. So first, thanks to some researchers, let me show you exactly what this camera is capable of seeing. And as you can see, it's a pretty good view of the entire interior of the cabin. You've got the driver in great view, as well as the passenger, and then everyone in the back. It's a really good kind of a little bit of a wide angle shot of the interior of a Model 3 in this case, but this is gonna be the same for the Model Y as well. Uh, basically giving you a really good kind of bird's eye view of exactly what's going on in the interior of your Tesla, which is a lot of people to think, okay, if this is here, why is this there? There's microphones inside, is Tesla watching me? What is the purpose of this interior camera? And although it kind of looks nefarious and might be creepy, the real use of this is actually nothing like that. It's actually kind of ingenious, and there are a couple of really cool things this can be used for. They're just really not turned on yet. So in the case of the Model 3, Tesla has been building these interior cameras inside the car since they started production. And uh, a lot of people have kind of long been wondering what the purpose of that camera is there for. And officially, if you were to go kind of digging on the Tesla site, there's only really one use right now. And to clarify some things, by default, the camera is as Tesla says, disabled and turned off. But if you do opt into a specific security setting, it will send a clip of the interior to Tesla in the event of a crash or an investigation. At an appropriate time, Tesla would be able to get a clip of an accident and an event if it was to occur. And that's of course only if you opt in. But there are a lot of other uses that Tesla has for this system. They're just not really active yet. Uh, one of the biggest is that it would be used as kind of an extension of sentry mode. So right now, sentry mode uses all the different cameras that are used for autopilot to capture every angle pretty much of your car. You've got the front, you've got the back, you've got the left rear facing and the right rear facing that kind of give you a good idea of exactly what's going on around your car. And this would just be another element to that. In addition to all those other cameras, you would get an interior view of what's going on in your car. Not exactly super useful for things right now, but the real big draw to this would be in Tesla's robo taxi kind of plan when that was to roll out. I think really what this was built for, and Tesla's kind of alluded to this, uh, is a security camera for the autonomous robo taxi service. So when your car is out and about during the day, driving people around, kind of picking passengers up and going back and forth between different destinations, this would be kind of your camera to get a good look of what's going on in your car. Because there is no driver here, you want to make sure people are not messing with anything in your car or destroying your property or anything like that. This would be a way to kind of have a security camera a look inside your car at all times to see exactly what's going on. We're not sure if this would be just recorded into the sentry mode viewer or if this would be somehow safely and securely kind of separated from anything else so no one could kind of get in there and unplug it. Or maybe this could be live streamed to another device like your phone. We're not exactly sure what the real uh, purpose of this system is and how it would work exactly with RoboTaxi, but we do know that it is there for RoboTaxi, at least a part of it, that that is a central part is that you'd be able to use this to kind of monitor the people while your car is autonomously driving around in this RoboTaxi fleet. Another thing this interior camera could be used for is for something right now in terms of helping with the driver assistance, full self-driving and kind of autopilot capabilities of the car, which is a little bit controversial depending on who you ask. So according to some researchers, technically this camera is able to capture different states of the driver. For example, it could capture when the driver, and it knows when the driver is uh, you know, looking at the road, has their attention on the road and their hands on the wheel, when they're looking down at their phone, when they have sunglasses on, 
on when they're looking left or right. Like the camera and Tesla's algorithm and you know self-driving and self-learning computer is able to know the different states of the driver, which could really help when you're looking to implement new full self-driving features or advanced autopilot features as well. So not only would it be able to kind of have a better idea of what the driver is doing, but maybe it could stop things like the constant nag from the steering wheel to make sure your hands are on the wheel and to kind of give it a little pressure because that's the only way right now that the car knows that you are paying attention and you're not on your phone or sleeping or something like that. Maybe with this camera enabled and if you were to opt into the system, you'd be able to use that as your reference and kind of your safety for the car and you wouldn't have to always have your hands on the wheel. Well, you should though, but uh, basically as long as the car knows you're paying attention, you could kind of maybe take your hands off the wheel for more of an extended period of time. Same for full self-driving. Maybe when the car is really full self-driving and you know driving down the highway and streets, it wants to make sure you're not sleeping, but you are in fact attentive and kind of aware of the surroundings. This would be a way to kind of do that without having to kind of keep your hands on the wheel at all times or any kind of other uh, extra safety precautions inside of the vehicle. Though I know on the flip side to this, a lot of people really don't like that idea of constantly being watched. And although this would be a really great way to kind of make things easier for a lot of drivers out there who don't like that nag of the autopilot, uh, a lot of people are just plain creeped out by it. So maybe it'd be something that you could opt into or you could opt out of. I know that right now people have like stickers over the camera in their car because if you think about it, there is a full microphone system and a camera system in there that uh, you know could be used for one thing or another. And right now Tesla does in fact uh, have access to it somehow on the back end. So I know a lot of people don't really like that idea, uh, but it is there and potentially could be used for a lot of cool things, though right now it has very limited use. We've also heard some rumors that Tesla could be using this camera for their new video conference solution. Elon kind of hinted that in version 11 of the Tesla software update, we could get some kind of video conference app or feature, and maybe there would be a way to use the microphone system in your car with the camera to hop on a Zoom call or a Google Meet call or something like that. This is all just rumor at this point and speculation, but this has been kind of alluded to, and it would be an interesting way to kind of make use of that dormant uh, interior camera to kind of really put it to use for a way that's really more working for you. So if you wanted to take video calls from your Tesla uh, and uh, kind of be on your conference call as you drive, there's a way to do that now in 2020. I don't know, for me personally, I kind of like having all this technology kind of built into the car, even though it's kind of maybe more future-proof at this point, it's not really being utilized. I think the idea is there, and the idea that this could be used to kind of help keep the driver accountable and kind of keep uh, the car uh, making sure it's safe and secure as it drives in autopilot mode and full self-driving, I'm all for that. And if I could use that for sentry mode events and be able to kind of have a better idea of my car's security at all times, that would be good as well. I really think this is more of a future-proof thing for Tesla. I think they're really expecting this robo-taxi service to really uh, take advantage of a lot of Tesla's people own. This would be a great way to enroll your car into this service because you'd have that camera and Tesla and yourself could kind of make sure that the cars are safe and secure and everyone inside is behaving and following the rules. That does make a lot of sense, though I am really curious to see what Tesla could do with this camera in the future. Could it get more features? Could it be implemented to some kind of video conferencing app? Are there other solutions for it? Could you have access to it as an end user? I'm not sure, but hopefully we learn more about it soon and maybe even more sooner, uh, more sooner, maybe sooner than we think with Tesla version 11 coming right around the corner. Anyways, what do you guys think of the interior camera of the car? That's what it does. That's what it sees. And uh, it's not doing a whole lot right now, but that could change in the future. What do you think? You like the idea of the camera being used for some kind of safety feature? Do you like the idea of it being disabled and maybe being able to put a sticker on there and never have to touch it? Or are you kind of on the fence and not really really sure one way or the other. You're just going to have to kind of wait and see how that camera is really used. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Robert Rosenfeld, and I'll see you in the next one.